Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a great day, and in today's episode, I want to start a project that we will definitely not finish in today's episode. I want to get our storage situation all taken care of. I think that's really important to do early in a world. And I want to build a warehouse that's going to be kind of like our central holding facility for all of our items. I have done some resource gathering between episodes, uh, did a little bit of extra mining, um, chopped down a bunch of trees, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but this is going to be a project that we will not finish today because A, uh, I need a lot more wood than what I have, and B... Uh, I'm eventually going to want to label everything with item frames, and these cows just will not grow fast enough that I can get uh, the four and a half stacks of leather or something like that that I'm going to need uh, to completely finish this project. So uh, we're going to get a good start on it today, though. That's the plan, and uh, we'll go as quick as we can. Um, also, our chicken farm is working. A little bit more slowly than I'd like, but it'll be better once we get more chickens in there. Anyway, the first thing that I want to do, I've already decided where I want to put the warehouse. The warehouse is going to go over in this area right here. Uh, it, I'm going to have to clear some space, uh, make, make some room for it. We're going to have to come in and do some of this to make room for it. But... Uh, it's going to have a footprint of 25 blocks by 23 blocks. So I'm going to get to kind of preparing the landscape here, guys, and then I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think I've got everything all kind of prepared and ready to go here. I also don't like the way that that looks, so we're just going to change it a little bit. There we go. Uh, so you can kind of see this is going to be the area... Uh, of the warehouse from that corner to here and there and then imagine this is a box right so it's going to take up this whole area and i basically flattened everything here so we can make the warehouse work okay now it's actually going to be divided up into two halves that are going to be identical other than the fact that obviously they're going to hold different items so let's get some stuff kind of going here first of all we're going to need a ridiculous amount of chests, okay? So let's do that. Let's make two stacks of chests. Then I'm also going to want... Uh, wait, we don't need redstone. We need iron ingots. There we go. I want a number of those chests to be trap chests. So let's grab some more. We'll do something like that. And actually, I think it's that way. No, I remember. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Had to think for a minute. And now we have the ability to make chests and trap chests, and I can kind of uh, start laying this out a little bit. And I think the first thing that we're actually going to want to do is lay out the chests themselves. So here's the plan. We're going to do something like this, right? And then we're going to go chest. Uh, let's make not half, but like 48. Yeah, we'll go chest, trap chest, chest, trap chest, chest. And then a block. And then we're basically going to repeat that a couple of times. Um, block, right? Yeah. Now here, it would wrap around, right? So we're going to have basically five chests, five chests, five chests. And then right here, it's going to go the other way around. Ooh, that one got misplaced. So we'll go like so, five chests and a log. And then again, same kind of a deal. We're just kind of working our way like so, alternating between chests and trap chests until we have a layout that looks kind of like this, okay? So this is what one room is going to look like. Now imagine each of these is going to be a double chest, 
and we're probably gonna go four or five stacks high. I think four stacks high is how I did it in my uh, creative world when I was like planning this. Uh, so grand total we need for this entire project, 336 regular chests and 224 trap chests if we do this uh, four high and double chests for all of them. That's a lot of chests, just throwing that out there. So keeping that in mind, this would be a double. Then we're going to leave a space. And then we're going to go right here. Okay. Uh, except that's supposed to be a regular chest. No, that's supposed to be a regular chest. There we go. And then we're going to kind of do the same thing. So boop, 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 block. Boop, 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 boop block and so on and so forth uh wrapping that all the way around and basically repeating this same layout over here okay so both rooms are laid out this is a start now bear in mind as i said these are all going to be double chests so we've got like three spaces in the middle here this is really only going to be one space once these become double chests but this gives you an idea of kind of the scope of this whole thing this place is going to be really big and now that we have it laid out, now we can get rid of these kind of guide blocks that I put down to sort of make sure I had the area marked out uh, and had enough space and all this other kind of stuff. So we're just going to get rid of all this and we should be good to go. Uh, we're going to also have to think a little bit about what the exterior of this is going to look like. I do know that I want to have two separate doors, one door over here and one door over here. And I think that'll be perfectly fine. Fine. Um, let's go. Let's grab some oak wood. I'm a little, I'm a little afraid to do this. Um, but I do know that I want the the main part of the exterior to be oak. So let's go around the edges with some oak wood, like here, right? Uh, do 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 do. do. And we'll just wrap the entire thing in oak wood like this. Because oak wood is what we use for our starter house. That's going to be what this, uh, that's going to be like the main building block in this kingdom. So we know that this whole thing is going to ultimately be oak wood. But I'm just trying to see. So we went through about a, a little over a stack for one, like, lap, for lack of a better term, for one lap around the, uh, the warehouse. And we're going to go up like so. There'll be a door here. And then this will probably come up like that, is what I'm thinking. So we'll go boop, boop. And then we can frame that out as well. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, so now I need to go around the whole thing again, which is going to take me a little while, obviously, but let me get that done, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back, and I've been doing some work. I've got uh, most of the walls in place. They are they do actually still need to go up a little bit higher yet, uh, like one more block, because it's going to happen. Um, but I, don't have any oak, uh, I don't have any oak logs on me at the moment, but what's going to happen here is... Pretend for a sec that these spruce logs are oak logs. We're going to be kind of framing out uh, each section of chests uh, with some logs at the top. So like right here, that'll come there. And then we'll be bringing logs across like so on the interior, right? And then this will be uh, five, uh, five columns of four chests. Uh, but this is obviously not oak right here this is spruce and not what we need uh so i'm just gonna tear that down oh also by the way i'm not sure if i mentioned it but if you're wondering how i got all of this enchanted armor and all the, these tools and stuff like that that means you probably didn't watch the entirety of last episode at the end of the episode we did make an ender chest we did finish our enchanting setup or actually maybe we'd already had the ender chest but we did finish our full enchanting setup so i went into my ender chest 
and took all the tools that we had uh, that we brought with us from last season. So uh, if you're wondering, there's there's your answer. Um, but the next step for this is I need to come in here and we need to replace the floor, the entirety of the floor, not just a little bit of it, but the whole thing. Uh, we want to replace it with spruce slabs. And then I think uh, after that, it basically is a matter of lots and lots and lots of wood. I'm basically out of wood at this point. I have like no more left. So I think at this point, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the floor in here. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit some videos and while they're, uh, while they're rendering, I'm gonna do some major wood chopping. I'm gonna like do some crazy deforestation around here. Uh, and grow a bunch of spruce trees and try to do all that kind of stuff uh, to get enough wood that we can actually put a dent in this project, uh, get some at least some of the rows of chests and stuff like that done. So that's my plan. I'm going to get to it, and I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. It's probably about two hours from now, and... We might actually finish the warehouse in this episode. I went a little crazy. Keep in mind, this axe, this axe was at full, well, almost full durability before I went on my tree chopping and uh, gathering rampage across the country. I went uh, way out that way and ended up coming kind of all the way back down and coming up this way. I also found a ton of cows. There were cows everywhere. So check this out. We have a lot of resources. We got a lot of spruce wood. I planted a ton of spruce trees, chopped them down. The the big double, the, the two by two spruces. Planted them all over the place, chopped them down. Got a bunch of oak. And we actually do have enough leather to make all the item frames. So we might actually be able to finish this. Um, what I'm gonna do next, at least, is I'm gonna get all the chests in place and I'm gonna start doing a little bit of the uh, the the cross beams that come across and stuff like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on this. I'm gonna see as uh, see how much I can get done, and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and all of the chests are in place, and all of the item frames are on the chest. Now, obviously, I have not yet assigned what is going where, uh, but basically, we'll have some sort of an organizational system, right? Like we'll say, uh, you know, logs. Uh, maybe this one here will be spruce, and then we'll say this is for blocks, this one here is for, like, slabs and stairs, uh, and then this is for fences, doors, and gates, or, or you know, we'll, we'll figure something out, um, that'll, you know, organize this all, uh, in a manner that makes sense. I just realized that there are things on top of that that need to go away. Um, can I sneak in there and break those. I can. Beautiful. Also, did I forget to mention that there's going to be room up here for a third storage cell, just like all the other ones? Uh, so the amount of storage that we can actually have here is a little ridiculous, uh, and I mean that in a good way. Um, yeah, this is going to be ridiculously good. Uh, we have so much space, so much storage space, like way more than we're going to need. Uh, at least properly. I'm just checking to make sure there's no more slabs that I messed up the placement of uh, when I was putting these in. Because we want these chests to be able to open. Looks like they're all good. Okay, awesome. So, what we're going to have up here is a third storage cell. I'm not going to fill it with chests just yet. Because let's be honest, um... This is way more storage than I need right this very second. But the idea is I want to get things organized so that when the time comes <laughs> and I have to actually, um, you know, do stuff like I, I when I get materials that I don't have a place for, I can assign them a chest and then I never have to worry about it again. Uh, so this will work out pretty well um, before I get into too much crazy stuff here though and, and start putting all the things into chests, all the stuff that I have right now anyway. I want to work a little bit on like a balcony area. Um, cause this, this section right here is gonna have a little balcony that kind of leads off of it. And I want it lined up with those pillars right there. So let's kind of come up 
and go for now like this. Do I have... I do not have a crafting table on me. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. Let's just do that. There we go. And what we're going to do is... Do we want to bring it like that? I kind of feel like these should come out a little bit too. Like that should be okay. Actually, no. Let's... Oh, that's part of this. Okay. So we'll take that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Okay. So we're going to have like this balcony section that sticks out up there. And then what I want is a staircase that leads up to it. So uh, we'll go stair, stair. And then I want to go slab, slab, stair. Ooh, that's not in the right spot. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's bring these up to here. I should be able to, yeah, okay. And then we'll go here and here. And then we'll break out that one. Oh, I'd have to get rid of all of those, wouldn't I? And this guy right here would also become a stair. But the idea is we've got like a little balcony that comes up right there. Uh, you know what? Let's take these pillars and let's scoot them out one block. That should fix our, our issue here. In a lot of ways, actually. That's going to do a couple different things for us, which you'll see momentarily. So, we'll go right here instead. And we'll build them up to there and then same goes for this one right and then we'll take our slabs and we'll go like so and like so there and now i've got like a little staircase that kind of connects up so we've got basically uh and you know what i think i'm gonna bring this um, like so instead. So it kind of comes up and wraps around. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, and that's how you get up here on this balcony. And then what we'll do is I've got some spruce fences, I think, left over from making the cow pens and stuff like that. Uh, 18, that should be enough. And we'll put those up here around the edge, so like so and then a torch here and a torch here and that should keep this lit up well enough anyway so we got like a little uh, a little way to get up there and i think that uh kind of helps as well with adding some interest i may end up swapping these stairs and this balcony out for spruce instead uh but we'll see we'll see i might just i'm gonna leave it like this for now and i might swap it out later now, yes, I know this building looks really ugly right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. It will be it will be better. It just looks bad at the moment, but that's temporary. I assure you. So here's the plan. I'm going to take some of these corners and I'm going to swap them out for logs like we often do. Uh, and then the roof, uh, this this whole chunk over here is going to need detailing of some sort, but I'll, I'll focus on that uh, last, I think. Maybe not even in this episode. Um, uh, there, I, I, as much as I would like to get this thing finished today, I don't think I'm going to, uh, but I will have it functional by the end of the episode, and that, that is something in and of itself. Um, but I think the next step for me is I want to start getting items in there. We definitely need to get some doors, uh, in place, and then I want to kind of, well, then I actually need to go and mine a bunch of cobblestone, because the roof on here is going to be a little tricky, what we're going to do is we're going to put a roof on this section that'll be like a, basically a slab incline, right? Right on here. And then we're going to have slab inclines coming down on either side of it as well. So uh, that's that's my plan anyway. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to have to get some, uh, some cobblestone so I can properly outline it and all that kind of good stuff. 
uh, which is what we're going to use to outline it. Uh, but let me get to work, and I'll be back with you with an update once I have something to show you. All right, guys, I have been doing some work. I may have finished it. <laughs> uh, not entirely. It's not completely done, but it's very close to done. Um, so, first of all, let's talk about how I'm organizing things. I've got wood over here. This is going to be all six types of wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll have saplings for each type, leaves for each type. Down here we'll have single flowers, double flowers, and then this will probably be like lily pads or vines or stuff like that. Uh, over here we have our things that you mine. So like stone, cobblestone, andesite, diorite, granite, dirt. Uh, over here we'll have sand. This is where we'll end up putting like gravel, coarse dirt, podzel, any of that kind of stuff. Down here, we kind of get into nether blocks, uh, quartz, quartz blocks, nether rack, obsidian, uh, magma blocks will go over here, purple eventually, end stone, that'll all end up over here. Uh, here's all of our uh, precious metals, uh, gold, coal, etc. this kind of stuff. Uh, this, this is all, these four, I think, are all going to be crafted goods. So that's basically stuff that you craft that doesn't really fit anywhere else. Chests, beds, signs, things like that. One of these will eventually end up as like a redstone component chest for like repeaters and comparators and stuff like that. But right now I don't have any, uh, so there's really no need for that. Uh, we've got tools, weapons, armor, bows, rockets. Um, I This will probably end up being another tool chest, maybe. I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring out where I'm going to put stuff, but that's all going to be on this side. Then on the other side, over here, uh, this is going to be all the colored blocks. So like glass, uh, hardened clay slash terracotta, whatever you want to call it. Um, glazed terracotta, wool, things like that. Things where it's like 16 different colors of that block. That's all going to end up over here. Uh, there'll be various odds and ends that end up here that don't fit anywhere else. Maybe like packed ice, something like that. Uh, we're going to have all of our uh, farmable things over here. So like sugarcane, wheat, um, carrots, potatoes. That'll all end up over here somewhere. Uh, all the mob drops will be over here. That's uh, So basically, the way that I'm kind of doing it for the most part is blocks on that side uh, non-blocks on this side, except I do want all of my items and things like that, things that I craft to be over here, because if, as I'm crafting stuff, I'm mostly going to be using blocks for that. So that's kind of the, the thinking. Um, and then on the upstairs, I don't know what we're going to use that for. I, I don't know if it'll honestly even get used. It might just, we might just end up filling this with decorative stuff, the hay bales, or I, I don't know. Um, but I want to have the space just in case. It's definitely better to have more space than you need uh, when it comes to storage. So that's all good. Now, as for the outside of the building, I think it's mostly done. Um, the walls are still a little bit bland, but it doesn't look too bad. We've got basically um, a roof that is spruce outlined with cobblestone. And it's kind of an interesting shape because... Uh, going up from here to here, we've got a half slab slope, a half block slope, right? Going up. And then here we have a half block slope until right here. And then it goes up to a full block slope and then comes back down. Um, and we've got like a little, uh, deck and this kind of over, this kind of arches over, uh, the, the little deck. <laughs> <laughs> so we have like a, a covered a covered deck here. Um, I don't know how I feel about this little chunk back here that we're looking at. Uh, I'm I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Part of me really likes it and thinks it looks interesting. Part of me think it look thinks it looks kind of stupid and unfinished. Uh, and I haven't decided yet which part of me I'm going to listen to. Um, but then around the edges. Uh, I made an outline of oak logs. I think I have a grand total of, like, four oak logs left. Yeah, <laughs> I have four oak logs left from all of those logs that I showed you earlier in the video. Uh, that, that's all I have left. But we've got this nice outline that kind of goes around and borders the roof. Uh, and that really kind of helps make this not look nearly as bland as it otherwise would. It's still pretty bland on some parts, like... This side, for example, there's a lot of just 
really kind of boring wall. Uh, but we'll figure out something to do with that to make it look more interesting. I'm not going to deal with it today. I've already got uh, more time into this project than I had intended, but that's fine. Um, it's been fun. I've actually really enjoyed this. And this is the first kind of really cool build, I think, that we've started in in season two. Because this house, like, it's okay, but it's very just kind of a generic, boring Minecraft house. It's really nothing special. This one is a little bit cooler. I, I'm liking this a lot more. This has a lot, this really has kind of a, kind of a flavor to it. You know, it's got some, it's got some attitude. It has some character, I guess. And I kind of like, uh, I like this a lot. And it's kind of an interesting idea for a storage solution is having t multiple storage rooms that are divided up in in several different ways and then a third one up on top so it's basically like three modules that have all the where the dimensions are all the same um and there's actually some space up there in the attic as well i don't think i don't think we're gonna use it but you never know maybe i'll come up with some sort of an idea of something to put up there that would be cool um, but the warehouse, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it, tur it turned out really well. I was not expecting to get this far on this project in this episode. Um, I, not even close. I was expecting to basically get the, like, the basic layout done and maybe get some of the walls in place. I was not expecting to get the roof and all the chest and all the item frames done in this episode. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. Um, but I think it's time to jump into the comment of the day. Uh, and it's from Phoenix Inc. who says, Iskull, use this world for Hermit Wars 3 or Hermit Quest 2. Um, so that's kind of an interesting idea is uh, using this this world. Because remember, we still have all the stuff that we built in Season 1 about, oh, 5,000 blocks that way. Um, we still have all that stuff. And there is a lot of cool stuff in this world. With that said, I don't think this would make a very good setting for, like, a, a PvP game. Because uh, the thing with, like, Hermit Quest or Hermit Wars is that those maps are built with PvP in mind, right? Like, they're, they're meant to be balanced around PvP, and everything that's there is there for a purpose. It serves... Uh, you know, it's it's there very deliberately and it's there for a reason and there's a lot of play testing that's involved with putting stuff in the right spot and making sure that no team has an unfair advantage and all this other kind of stuff. Uh, and there's a lot of time that goes into that and a lot of effort that goes into it and, and Iskall and his build team uh, and the other people involved with Hermit Wars and Hermit Quest have done a great job of making sure that that's the case. Uh, this world was not built with PvP in mind. <laughs> this... This would not be at all a balanced PvP map, and it would certainly give unfair advantages to certain people. So I don't think it's a, a, a realistic option, but it's kind of a cool idea uh, to have this map serve as a, a purpose for, you know, something other than just the series and, uh, and inspiration and all that other kind of stuff. Kind of an interesting idea, but uh, probably not one that would work out just because uh, we're not... Uh, this, uh, this map was... Uh, this world was not built... <laughs> to be used for PvP, and, and it shows. There's just uh, too many inconsistencies. I think if you're going to build a, a proper map for a, a, a an event like Hermit Quest or something like that, um, you have to you have to have that plan right from the beginning. So, anyway, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.